Hello everyone, and welcome back to Xenoblade Chronicles 3. So, as you see, I have act I actively went off screen and grabbed the DLC Box 1 rewards. So, here are the costumes that we have. You've got Noah, Mio, look at that, I love those colors. Those colors are fantastic. Maybe I can, there we go zoom out a bit. Uh, Uni. Jesus. That is bright. Uh, the jacket is interesting as well. It's almost like denim. I'm trying to look a little bit closer at the jacket, please. Please. Um, okay. Uh, <laughs> tie on. I love the blues. Jesus Christ. I should not have done... You know, fuck this. <laughs> I was trying to just... I was really just trying to do this outside or just like in an enclosed space so that I could get a better look at the characters but because there's stuff in the way it's just become an issue so I guess running like this is our best option like zooming in and out so I, I've never played the game with the camera this close this is not what I'm used to I'm used to there being not as much scale in Xenoblade but wow everything is humongous in this game but yeah, tie on. I love the I love the baby blue scarf. I guess it's like cerulean almost. Well, yeah. And Lons with his snow gray camo pants and green everywhere, just lime green. I guess you could call that yellow in some lighting as well, but I call it like a bright ass lime green. You want me to leave? And then uh sort of like a maroon burgundy color for Sena here, which is interesting. I think I like... I, I absolutely love Mio's outfit. The dark colors are stupendous. <laughs> uni, uni, uni. Um, I'm gonna play his tie on. I like... I think I like the, the blue a little bit more. With uh, Mio as a close second. But, as promised, let's go ahead and finish this. I just went and finished the uh, the Valdi required quest to send the Nopon around and grab the cylinders. It turns out Ripapa, no matter where you send him to, it doesn't. It seems like he grabs a ton of cylinders. I my first time, what, whatever I sent him to the first time gave me nine hundred, and then. Whatever I sent him to the second time gave me 1,100. Um, do, do not... <laughs> do not send... Uh, the blue one. I, I forget his name. Do not send the guy who wants to go to Colony Iota to Colony Iota. He gets zero cylinders. <laughs> I was about 250 short. I think I got like 2250 on my first round. Or something like that. I think you need 2500. Whatever it was, I was like 250 short. Uh, but it looks like we can actually continue growing Doric now. What are we picking here? Let's see what we need. We got plenty of stuff to give him. That gives 10. Why not? That gives a lot. 20. And 20 for that, too. Cool. We got plenty of materials, so hopefully we have enough for this. So the difficult part just begun? Just continuing. None of us like that. Phase 8. Ocean generators. We got plenty of that. Frag marble, that'll give me 25%. Yeah, we'll do that twice. The best we can do is keep it covered. I think that might have said Farg Marble for some reason. Phase 9 is live combat test of Doric. This historic moment see you allowed to observe with Volvi. Volvi. Valdi. Test can be seen at Terra Wastelands outside Colony 30. We wait for you. Alright, Doric is online. And we have to put it to combat, so we probably have to fight it now. Uh, where is this, actually? 
It doesn't look like it's here. Uh, let me just go to the... Okay, so you need Valdi in your party for this. And it's only level 52, so we can take care of this. Cool. Good. Now he just needs the power to make... Sorry, I'm skipping through your dialogue, buddy. Uh, there's nowhere to fast travel easily, so... I guess we're just gonna go here. Let's roll! Down here we go. Hope there's some player to jump off, because... Oh wait, there no, there's absolutely not. I forgot where we were. Mm, yeah, I'm gonna die if I do this. Let's find out. No death? Oh, let's go! Just slanted enough to make it. Well, now you know a fast travel way down from up there, I guess. Hooray, Papa! Let's us fight! Damn, here he definitely reminds me of some of the late game mechon that you had to fight in Xenoblade Chronicles 1. Those things were giant and crazy looking. Whoa. It's amazing when you really look at it. Rip Papa show more big surprise things. Mecha friend, start Doric! It's slow. Test is begin! Buddy Blaster, fire! Oh, it's like a shield. What the? Did it just attack those Levnesses? What Doric possess is not regular running the mill weapon. Is also high frequency device to access auto lev control system. Small word version. Dork can make friends with Levnesses. You see, the way it works is by applying Robo Buddy's data to interfere with the ether signaling. I'll just assume that's something clever. Correct! The laser, this laser was made with the intention of altering the ether signaling circuits of Autolevs. But when they read our iris data, they saw us as allies. Changing the system means you can rewrite the aggression program, so if you take Mechafriend's signal... Do you get it? Interesting. So he's saying that he can auto-write... He can auto-overwrite the processes of these auto levs and turn them into allies for mecha friend meh um hmm i don't think it's gone in it not seem usable in combat meh it only work with one nearby levness is distance problem or number of target have to research Well, anything else for Phase 9? Buddy Blaster Blunder. Alright, gotta go talk about it. Oh, there we go. Lindnerdwer Camp. <laughs> Nit. No, don't, don't ask me. I'm not even gonna try. Personal Let us clean every soldier's duty. Let us clean our fantastic new clothes and then discuss. Oh yes, I went over to Colony Iota and because we finished Alexandria's Ascension quest, there is a new quest that is going to come up for Alexandria's birthday, which sounds fantastic and happy. We'll get through with that later though. So, Chief, how do you think we can improve the Buddy Blasters? That outside area of extra bit expertise of Riku. Ugh, oh, if you can't help, who can I ask? I guess a mechanic who knows a lot about a lot of stuff? You could always bring it to Colony Lambda's engineering core. Ver Varen could probably give some insightful- some useful insight. What about the people in the city? They've got a lot of technology we don't have. Maybe Simon, Mr. Simon could help. 
The folks over at Colony Iota could be useful and all. There was that time when we had our irises meddled with and our authorization revoked. God, he looks weird and yellow. By Salazar, yeah? That was a wild ride. Oh yeah, plenty of options then. Let's go and consult with some of those people then. Let's get on the road, chief. Meh. Well, that's a lot of places to go talk to people. Simon, Varen, and Salazar. I guess we'll get on it then. Um, let's just go all the way to the city first before I try and go anywhere else. Back to the city, back, back to the city. I wish I had the shards necessary so I could just take care of the other two weapon upgrades here, but unfortunately not. We will just have to live with it. Simon. Simon C. You want improved practicality of buddy blaster thingamajig. Can you do it? Simon not able to say without C real thing. Okay, I'll bring the buddy blaster here. <laughs> it's very large, Simon assume, would be difficult to bring. But Simon too busy for, for visit Colony 30. Boo. How about this? Simon lends you friend of Simon. Shino can be help for you. Can find Shino in Astel Harbor. Simon will send informations. All right. Uh, over there. Let's just go ahead and run that way, actually. It is, actually. Shino, please come with us. Wait, you Ah, it's you. I heard the whole story from Samon. So, can you help me improve the Buddy Blaster? But of course, I haven't been able to do anything like this in ages. Should be a lot of fun. Going by what I heard, I'd say the problem is the structure of the weapon. The laser diffuses quite a bit. What if we concentrate the beam? If you have a dowdy armor kernel and a gloss reactor, I can make some adjustments. Okay, I'll get those for you. I like that enthusiasm. I'll go ahead to Colony 30. Ooh, my back. Are you okay? Doesn't getting older make it harder to move? Look after yourself. Aren't you a dear? My son's 11 is pilot, so don't worry. He'll drop me off. I'll see you all later then. Well, that's nice. Uh, looks like we just have to go straight on back. Maybe that was the only one that we needed to check on. I'm guessing the other guys probably couldn't help us in that regard. Uh, looks like it just wants us to go straight back here. Hmm, do I want to try that again? Let's not. Let's just be safe and go this way. Let's just be safe. Oh yes, it spawns us down here, doesn't it? Then we have to run around the side. Oh well. Shouldn't be too much of an issue. None of the enemies around here should give us a problem. There's only a handful of uh, really strong named enemies in the world at large. Did I? I went the wrong way, didn't I? There's no way I went the wrong way. Jesus Christ. Oh, that's what I did. So this is actually underneath that area. Oh. That was stupid of me. I'm sorry. Um, 
Do I want to go down there? Or do I want to go here? I think I want to go down here. I think this is the fast travel point I'm looking for. Maybe. Look at them go. It is. Okay, we're good. I wish it told elevation of fast travel points better. But, hey. It's difficult to do with the way that they've currently designed the system, I suppose. Oh, that's a rare one. I wonder how you would go about fixing that problem. I'm sure there are a few options. Just none are coming to me at the moment. All right, Rapapa. Well, specifically Shido here. Uh, I hope I have the parts. I do. There's one. There's two. And there's three. Shino, look what we've got for you. Thank you very much. Now, you leave the rest to me. And that's all nice and calibrated. Meh meh, second test start. Buddy Blaster, fire! Wee! Joo joo joo! How did it go? Oh ho! It's success! Good. Glad to hear it's a success. It looks like the output is a bit stronger now. Quite a few places are gl glowing. There's just one little tweak left to do, Shino. Ah, yes. Let's swap out the Buddy Blaster's parts. I'm really sorry, but could you get me a three-fold transistor and a bullet screen? Can do. Come on, Lens. Yes, sir. What are we picking here? We don't have the prehistoric conductor because we don't have enough assembly conductors, but we had enough for that. There's 15. Oh no! I need a gold condenser or an assembly conductor or scissor piece seed. Damn, I'm one away on like three things. Actually, I'm one away on everything, fuck. <laughs> Damn. Well, I guess we can't do the rest of that at the moment. I'll do that off screen. It'll probably b finish the quest. Eh. We'll just see what I can get. Alright. Back to the Penalus region. Or I guess, no. We're going to the city. That's right, because we read off the thing and Isurd wants to take a break. So he needs to go to the city to find out what this mystical thing called a spa is. All right, so we gotta check a bunch of stuff, it looks like. Talk to a bunch of people. Maybe find out the location of this mystical spa. You have to, in every anime game, there has to be a spa scene or like a hot springs scene. It's not an anime game otherwise. I'd like to ask you something. Oh dear, yes? Do you know of something called a natural spa? Never thought I'd hear anyone ask about those ever again. Oh, do you know something? Why, why, yes, of course. People used to talk about spas until the Armus came home. It's a place where you could heal your wounds, warm your spirit, and strengthen bonds with your fellow man. Whoa, they did all that? But I've never been to one, you see. In fact, they say they all dried up decades ago. Don't they exist anymore? They're not something you'd find just anywhere, and not many here in the city know about them. But there's someone who might? There is. I think if there's anyone who can tell you, it's him. He's called... Give me a minute. We're counting on you, love. If we don't find it, Isurd's here gonna shrivel and die from stress. Come now, it's really not that severe. Well, it's the man people call the Trivia King. He's got to know what you need. Brilliant, thank you. So it's somewhere 
way out of the way. At least people have heard of this natural spa phenomenon. Phenomenon, he calls it. I've never been to a spa myself. Like a natural spa or anything like that. I have been to Arkansas when I was younger. And Arkansas, specifically Hot Springs, Arkansas, does have natural springs and spas outside. Probably the only place in Arkansas you ever want to go, to be honest. Uh, sorry if you live in Arkansas, but uh, yeah. What's wrong? They're an emergency? We want something called a natural spa. We were hoping you might know where we can get one. <laughs> so you want a spa, do you? Do you know something? Sorry, sorry, it's just I hadn't heard anyone talk about one in a good while. That's a quaint pastime and no mistake, but you know, a spa isn't something you can just have. It's a pastime. You mean like a hobby? Long ago, people used to go to great lengths looking for natural spas. Soldiers tired from war would heal their wounds with their help, and then come out ready to fight again. I guess you'd say a spa is something you immerse in. It warms your core, and soon enough, you're better. So our records say. The more we hear about this, the stranger it sounds. You soak your body, and it heals? Right. Though I'm sorry to say, over how many dec however many decades, they've all but disappeared. They can disappear. Yep. You can go looking for one, but I wouldn't hold out too much hope if I were you. This has been a great help. Thank you kindly. And it looks like we got Thank one more place. Discovering the unknown serves as a good motivator. It does actually. Especially the unknown, actually. Discovering something that you've never found before is one thing, but something that nobody knows, that makes it even more special. Oh, Boomer's here. Excuse me, sir. I'd like to ask you a question. Eh? What's that? We're looking for something called a natural spa. Natural spa, eh? Hmm. Never seen such bounties of nature with my own eyes, I'm sorry to say. Bounties of nature? What, don't you know even that? Ah, I guess you younglings don't know what, only know what you know. But if you ask around among folk my age, you should find someone who can tell you about them. In fact, someone I knew once used to go searching for spas, but they're in elusive spots, never to be found. Spots like... Well, you'd hear them about being in a forest, or under a cliff, or in some deep cave, but nobody could ever find them. I see. Hang on. Maybe that old man's been to one. No, oh, maybe he's dead. <laughs> you don't even you don't even remember if he's dead or not. Don't see him around these days. Might be dead. Okay then, thanks. Sorry to bother you. Sorry I couldn't be more help. No, you've helped a lot. Let's go. Well, I guess... Oops. I'm s messing him up. Uh, oh, we can just talk about it in the canteen. The more he hears about it, the more curious he becomes. Get some rest. I I always find these sort of things funny. You just they have absolutely no idea what something that we obviously know what it is is. So, what do we know about any natural spas? To summarize, hardly much of anything, except that they can heal and restore you. We didn't get the most concrete info, huh? Nobody's ev nobody's even been to one. Look at this poor Claude. He stood so haggard, I think we're gonna lose him. Just how do I look to you? One thing's for sure, we're not gonna find one with what we've got so far. We've no clue where one actually could be. Like, in a forest? Under a cliff? Yeah, realistically, we can't just blindly search everywhere. But it does sound kind of cool, right? Just soaking your body and somehow healing? Yeah, but soaking in what? Just sounds like... It just... It sounds a lot like a bath. It can't just be a bath, right? From the way they talked, I thought the same. But I've never been in a bath that healed my wounds. 
Maybe it's a question of using the right soap. Sir, I hate to think we've wasted your time, but if we can't come up with any more results... <laughs> I'm grateful for your concern, but honestly, I've been enjoying myself. We might not find anything after all our searching, but there's just something in all this talk. Just hearing that gave my heart a much-needed jolt, though that might not be the best way to put it. No, I think you have it right. Yeah, I'd be lying if I said I didn't care what happens. Let's keep searching for a bit longer. Then let's go ask the bloke that people said would know about this whole spa business. What, that Trivia King guy? Or the supposedly dead guy? The report of his death could still turn out to have been a mite exaggerated. We don't know whether Trivia, whether Trivia King and this dead or not guy are the same person, but it's worth finding out. I know I've said it before, but I've certainly saddled you with a tough task. Ah, enough of that. We're giving your spirits a lift and all that. Once we find this natural spa, we'll chuck you right in it. Haha, <laughs> then you'd better really find it. Well, we gotta go find Trivia King. Okay. Next wherever he may be. Kotan is who we're looking for, and it seems he is not far from here. <laughs> Oh, where, oh, where is Mr. Trivia King guy? Oh, where, oh, where could he be? It looks like he is in an annoying spot. Um, the only way I know to get there is up this ladder and around. So, up ladders we go. We're climbing a lot. We are climbing a lot. These long ladders will always remind me of Metal Gear Solid, and if you have not played the Metal Gear Solid series, you are missing out. It is fantastic. Specifically, the ladders are from Metal Gear Solid 3 Snake Eater. If you didn't know. Ooh, can't get there from here. Gotta go up one more. And around. Oh boy. Don't want to fall off yet. I don't know exactly if there is an easy way down there. We'll find out though. Oh. I see. So it looks like it's more so I was supposed to go up there and then across. I don't think I can make that jump. We'll find out, though. Mm, let's go. Parkour. Excuse me, kind sir. What? What? A bunch of hoodlums trying to gang up on an old man, eh? <laughs> A bunch of hoodlums trying to gang up on an old man, eh? No, sir. We're searching for a natural spa. What did you say? Oh, we're searching... If it's spas you're asking about, I'm who you need to be talking to. We are talking to you, mate. <laughs> so you're the kids going around making noise about spas. Jesus Christ! How the fuck you did you hear about that? The way to get at all my secrets. You might be whippersnappers, but I can respect that kind of grit. Um... Think he actually knows anything? I'm wondering. We heard that there was someone who knew much about spas, but that he had passed away. What did that old cotter tell you? I ain't dying anytime soon. Mind telling us about the spas then? When I was young, I used to go around them all and a lot. <laughs> there were about uh, four of them. The one I liked the most was the Nordal Natural Spa. At the time, my back was killing me. But one dip, oh, and it was healed. Amazing! The odd thing, it was just a foot bath. I dipped my feet in, and it healed my back. <laughs> what genius came up with that, eh? That's wild. I only ever found four natural spas, but I also heard rumors of another secret one. <laughs> Better to do marvels for one's back. Mate, we didn't come here to chat about your flipping back. <laughs> <laughs> Uni hates old people. You just gotta let them ramble sometimes, you know? Hey. We want to know where we can find a spa. 
If there's four of them, then you can... No, they're long gone. What? Gone? You say? Thanks to kids like you with your wars and whatever, they've been blown up, filled in. Huh? Natural spas need water that gushes out of the ground. No gush, no spring. Uh, you might find something if you start digging, though. Oh, God, don't make me dig any more fucking dirt mounds. Dig. That's your advice. Though in times like these, start digging holes and people will think you're crazy. Well, you certainly turned out to be a font of knowledge. I don't regret this at all. <sighs> the tinge. Tyon. We tried our best. We'll just have to accept the result. The tinge of rudeness at the end of that sentence. We may not have found a natural spa, but the time we spent was still worthwhile. I suppose, Commander. He did say there was a secret fifth one, though. You suppose nothing. You should let someone finish when they're talking. <sighs> there is still the secret spa that I couldn't find. Oh, to be more precise, uh, there might be. What? Really? I, I heard this when I was still young, so it might not be too credible. Uh, but... The rumor goes that there was one in the uh, Brassa geothermal belt. Hmm. But I couldn't make it. The place was crawling with monsters, inside and out. Wow. So there is hope after all. Well, guess we're gonna have to fight something. A long time ago, lots of people took refuge there, but not one of them came back. That's how dangerous the place is. Oh, let's go. So, the spa might be there. It might not. That's why I couldn't recommend the place to you. There we go, then. Hey, is it? Indeed. It might be there, it might not. The more uncertain it sounds, the more it gets me excited. Weirdo. What if it turns out to be a massive waste of time? I never thought I'd get so excited at searching for something unknown. <laughs> Soak yourself in the spa the way you're getting now, and you're liable to broil yourself to death. <laughs> mm. <laughs> I'll take care. Thank you kindly. Oops, <laughs> nearly forgot to tell you. Hmm? How to properly use the spa. <laughs> Pin your ears back and listen. Oh, boy. Well, looks like we have to go to the Barasa Spa, which is in the Cadencia region. Uh, yep, I took the long way around on that menu. Not where we want to go. Ah, it's over here. You know, I made it here before. This is one of the hidden islands that I went through. So, in order to get through this, you gotta have Sagiri. So you can't do Isurd's Ascension quest until you get Sagiri, it looks like. Yeah, you gotta get through all that. And then you have to make it over here and up and around. Those are some rather strong enemies around here. I suppose I should mention one of the things... I got for Christmas was this There's an unusual bird feeder coming from over on the right that doubles as a camera sort of like it's not like a security camera or anything like that though you end up it ends up with like an AI technology on the app for the bird feeder and it takes pictures and videos of whoever uh, stops by the bird feeder. And it will it has like an identification uh, system built into it so it can see what birds are there and all that stuff. It's very nice. And it gets me interested in learning about different species of birds, which I have no idea about. So as you see down here, uh, there are some very, very scary level 95 enemies that we will not even 
think about going towards for the time being. Um, and it looks like that goes down a pathway that I don't know where it goes. Yeah, we just, uh, we just kind of won't be able to do anything about that for the time being. And we also won't be able to get that husk over there either, which is unfortunate. But thankfully, we don't have to go that way for Isurd's quest. This area is incredibly pretty, though. You'll just run into a few antols on your way up here. They'll drop down from the ceiling or something. They're honestly not that big of a deal if you're as high a level as we are. But if you're looking to grind for some XP and some CP, then you know where to find some elites that are in the low 60s. That's always nice. Currently, I could just go grind a tiny huge island. Those antols are so weird because they drop from the ceiling with silken stuff. Yes, I did run into this, and I was like, okay, I don't know what the point of this place is. But, here we go. We found the point of it. So, this is the spa. So it is just a great big stonking bath. Looks can be deceiving. They told us it has special properties, remember? The humidity is insane. Do you think the water's hot? Probably scalding. Something's here. Oh, Ignis. Seems oh, like and Turkins. Today. Weapons ready. Unfortunate for you guys. I'm taking out the one with the fucking horn. You're dying. I hate you. There we go. This is the one we want. Hey, you like this? Ugh. Ow. Saw that coming. Like physical defense? Put that down. There we go. One down. Someone leveled up. Damn. I missed. That guy's dead. There's two. That guy's so screwed. Goodbye. Ugh. Ow. You suck. I hate you. Oh, these are Gulkins. These aren't Turkins. I forgot. I suppose I should go over here if I'm gonna do that so I get bonus damage. Please don't tell me I wasted my... I did waste my side break. Goodbye. Oh. Tons of damage. Stop doing that. This is why I hate the Gulkins and the people with the the big old horns. Here. Come on, Yuni. One random debuff. And he's done. <sighs> Those guys, they healed up something crazy. Was that an effect of the spa's waters? Did oh, maybe. Anymore? Now you can just dive right on in. Huh? But, uh... Right. Ready, is it? As promised, time for us to chuck you in. Uh, hold up! <laughs> I'm not making any. Wee! What? What is the meaning of this? 
Commander, are you okay? <gasps> Other than my heart, I believe I'm quite all right. Thank you. Just like the old man said, if there's nobody there, it's good manners to jump right in. Even so, that's not... However, the water is good. What does it feel like? The temperature is very pleasant. So like I've been saying, it's just a bath. Look, my wounds are closing as we speak. Wow. So what that man was saying, it wasn't entirely wrong, it looks like. Yes. Now that I'm in here... <laughs> he's so weird looking when he's leave. just his shoulders. Right, it's my turn then. Oi, what's wrong with you? Everybody get in. Huh? I don't think the girls are going to want to get in with the guys, huh? I didn't even know I had. Aren't you coming in? The water's fine. But, but I, uh... <laughs> They're looking down and holding their hands. That's funny. Uh, not that I was dead or anything. Um, would I have to strip down? Oh, right. The old man, he did say there's a proper way for getting in the water. But I... I mean... Right here. Hey, guys, where's your sense of culture? Get in already. You don't want it getting cold. I don't think it's, it's going to get cold. It's natural. After a grueling battle. Um, but... But, Commander... <laughs> you can be hopeless. <laughs> Uni, boot him in already, will ya? Roger that. Now, Get him. Wait here a minute, Uni. Get him. I never said I was going in. Yeah. <laughs> Spot. Why did it have to end like this? <laughs> that was funny. Tyon, it's a good experience for you. It wasn't so bad, was it? It's interesting seeing them like that. Actually, Mio and Sena in particular, because they were two of the they were two of the people who didn't understand anything and they were just like <laughs> all of the guys grabbed their clothes when they had just become friends and they uh, were raiding the the supply from the city where Van Damme's uh, Levinus crashed or whatever they called it um, yeah and the girls were the ones who were just like why are they so embarrassed <laughs> just get dressed and now it's like the opposite, so I love that. Now that you ask. Yeah, taking a dip wasn't bad at all. Right. All my tiredness just completely gone. Did you enjoy your break? I did. Thanks to you, I feel as if a weight's been lifted from my heart. I believed I was working for the colony, but really I was running myself into the ground. So it was worth coming here. It just shows yes, it was. To appreciate the finer things. This has given me a lot to think about. At some point, I'll have to bring everyone in the colony here. If you can make everyone. That's cool. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say. People have to take turns. The lines will get long. That's quite the. Um. It's quite the field trip. Huh. Then perhaps we need to dig some more holes. We might even discover some new springs. It's true. You're really serious. Once the fighting ends and people have more free time, then I might give it some serious thought. Digging a few holes shouldn't pose us too much of a challenge. We are miners after all. But wait. If we can discover many more of these spas, we could bring in people from other colonies. Uh oh. Looks like you've caught the spa bug, is it? Uh oh. Times like this are when the commander shines the brightest. <laughs> Bet you're glad we helped him tie on. Yes. I think he's going to be an even greater help to us now. Shall we be off? Our next objective awaits. Lovely. Well then. Strategos. Uh, we have now completed most of these quests. But we still got more. And it looks like... We've got to take care of Triton's quest, which I did not show me getting it on screen, I don't believe. So pretty much, we talked with Triton at a camp, I think it was, 
and uh, he mentioned how he's been around for much longer than everyone else because he is a console after all and someone handed him something somewhere a hundred years ago he, he honestly didn't really give us much direction uh, but he did say that it was covered in handprints so we have to find out where these handprints are I don't know exactly where it is actually <laughs> Uh, it says Asia region on the screen there, so let's go this way and towards the Asia region. Is it on the full or is it upper? Okay. So this, interesting. Closer towards Colony Gamma, it seems. found it is this yeah there it be that be my handprint and no mistake as big as a whale as always does that jog your memory hi my friend and i used to go off hunting a lot i'm sure it was in uh that phrasing is very telling he would keep this thingy on him that he used to treasure but Blow me down if I can't remember what that thingy might be. I just love that we get to hear his voice more. <laughs> well, is there anything else you can think of? I only traveled with him for a short time, I did. Seems like I only have to blink and another human passes away. You managed to remember this much about him. Otherwise, we wouldn't be here. I wonder. I probably should have asked before, but... What even made you remember something from that long ago? Ah, well... It was while I watched our fair Nopon lady cooking up a storm, and it just popped into my head. I felt dissatisfied, like something was missing. Food of banana nut nummy? Nay, hey, nothing like that, miss. I love just about anything I eat. Ah, that stirred something. Day after day, he peeked inside his little pot thing. Ah, it's come back to me. We were broadsided by a robin, and my mate brought out his pot. Broadsided, huh? He murmured something or other about fermentation. Fermentation? What's up with that? Was it some science experiment or something? Queen's wings, what is in this pot? Well, there's a ropple. On your guard, guys. Doesn't seem too threatening. Oh, it's level 62. Maybe it is. I will wait until I get my break. Oh, okay. They already got break. We're good. Eh. Why is it so strong? I feel like this guy's like twice as strong as a normal Ropple.
Well, just one more down. Yeah, you gotta wait for the music to finish before you can grab the items. Stick me with spines and call me a spike, Archon. That monster knew how to put up a fight. A fight? That was awful. How the spot did you forget about that? Look, whatever, it's done. Just tell us you found what you're looking for. Well, I remembered one thing. See? There we go. Reminisce away, old timer. Long ago, when there was no Colony Gamma here, back then it was Colony Iota and Colony 18 who were at each other's throats. 18, huh? Of course, in I blundered with no clue at all, and I ended up with both of them trying to send me into the deep. Yeah, when I said reminisce, I meant about something relevant, yeah? They had some guts trying to off a console, that be sure. Back then, just about anybody tried to have a pop at old Triton. Right, I'm punching him. Noah, permission to punch. <laughs> Hold on until after he's done. <laughs> yeah. She she answers to him, huh? While we were fleeing the colonies, we made a little meal of the monster we killed here. Quite a good cook was my mate. Sorry, kiddies. Looks like there's nothing here. Come on, we can't end it like this. Well, I reckon it might be round where Lambda is now. Then let's get over there. You might remember something else. Lons is very interested in hearing what he has to say. And honestly, I am too, because I just want to hear him speak. <laughs> I just want to hear this man speak some more. So we shall allow him to speak some more. Did I get any more birds at my bird feeder? I did. I totally got more birds at my bird feeder. What did we get? Let's find out. Two species of birds. White-breasted nuthatch. And a tufted titmouse. Yes, that is, a name, that is the name of a bird. Those two are common visitors over the first few days that I've had this up and running. It's only been around. I've only had this up and running for like four to five days at this point, but those two in particular come around quite often. Had a cardinal yesterday. That was nice. We had seen a cardinal in the area, but it decided to stop by the bird feeder yesterday for the first time. Judging by the lay of the land. Ah, there it is. Ah, I see nothing's changed about this place. But didn't you insinuate Colony Lambda hasn't always been stationed here? Aye, that's right. That place be great if you want a good solid defense, but woe betide ye if you try launching an attack from it. True. You had to fight like a trooper back in the day. So there was no point in having a stationary base. If their commanders hold up inside, they're either very sure of themselves, or they're one ship short of a full fleet. Or they just don't plan on attacking anyone. By the way, see that big hole open up near the Faranus? Oh, that. Seems it's been there for some time. I bashed that one open with these here fists. Huh? You did that. Wow, this is the kind of place my mate used to like to fish. And if he couldn't fish, I couldn't eat. I'd just sit on my arse. Well, I had time <laughs> to kill, so I smashed chunks out of the cliff face every day. What man sees a wall and doesn't want to tear it down, I ask you? Uh, someone who doesn't have rage in their veins. <laughs> I don't know what walls you've seen, buddy. So, Triton, does that remind you of anything? Hmm. He was such an easy-going fella, but I never once asked him where he came from or how old he was. Now I come to think of it, I didn't even know wherefore he was traveling. You didn't check in with your iris? I wonder. It was all so long ago, I don't remember. Interesting. Ah, but... I know that when he and I arrived here, it was quite a balmy day. He peeked inside his pot, said that all the heat wouldn't do. 
then spoke about how he wanted to wait out the season. What could that mean? That's the thing about living as long as I have. I know it's important, but I just plumb forgot, and it ain't coming back. Mate. My memory's not what it used to be, but I do recall Rogals used to hang out here. We were once surrounded by the my faintly recall. That was a hard battle indeed. Do you mean speaking of like those things? Ah! This just keeps happening! Ah! What be life without a bit of excitement? We can bet by beat the tar out of them. That would make us sus. Level 62 again. Well, I guess you know not to take care of this if you can't really get through the previous area. Yeah, don't attack me, buddy. I'm just gonna be over here real quick. Don't worry about me. I will obliterate all of you. Side break. No, I'm behind you work that way. How about physical defense down? Or ether defense down? Hey, we got a break. Fantastic. Whee! Hey, you guys like this? Oh! Wow, someone got knocked down over here. Because these guys got completely and utterly messed up. You guys like this? I do. Well, we're working on it, it looks like. Sina's got the aggro like she's supposed to. I don't want to sound like Tyon, but I'll say it anyway. This is all your fault. Ah, sorry, girly. Why don't I catch you a nice whopper to say I'm sorry? Why don't I catch you a nice whopper? I roast it nicely and serve it up to you. It'll taste mighty fine, I promise. Anyway, we're not getting any more clues from your memory. I guess it can't be helped. It's such a long time ago, after all. First hunting, then fishing. What are we even doing here? Seriously. I'm getting fed up running about like a headless turkin. Oh, you're fed up? Triton... You said the pot was dropped somewhere, didn't you? If it was so long ago, who's to say that someone didn't pick it up? Oh, I didn't think of that. Guess it ain't impossible. Maybe so much time has passed that it got buried or something. So now I suppose you want us to start digging. I'm just saying is all. Can you really not think of anything else? Um... Oh, there might be one thing. Of course, one more thing. Behind Keva's castle be those harboring... No fucking way. <laughs> Be triggering my noggin. No, don't take there us there. Something there then. Let's go. Hey now, boy -o. What's gotten into you all of a sudden? Nothing much. I just think if this place is important to you, we should pay it a visit. Oh boy. Well. All the way over here we go. I feel like Lons is the only one who's really invested in this out of the uh out of the group. Okay, we got one more here. Quickly fast travel travelable too. And this will probably be the last thing we do in the episode. Ha! I remember 
Alright, one more. Nothing. Guess I wasted your time again. It really was a long while ago, huh? Maybe there's nothing we can do. Hey, this place was already in a sorry state way back when. Must have been blasted off to who knows where. By the way, your friend, Triton. How did he die? Well, I don't know the way and wherefore. But it'd be about the time when a beastie swallowed him down and won't gulp. Damn. Oh, that guy. And by that guy, I mean I have no idea who that is. Oh no! He was waving his arms, shouting, "Eat me!" He was <laughs> <laughs> what? He must have been to travel with you. Maybe one of those monsters bashed a screw loose. This has been nothing but trouble. Tyon just hates everyone. <laughs> if nothing turns up here. Let's just call it quits. Hey. Wait, that's kind of sudden. You're okay with stopping after all this? It ain't the searching that's the problem. I can do that whenever. I got a bit more time than ye all have. Triton. Well, you know, I have at least remembered my friend. It might be my lot in life to outlive everyone else. But he lives in my memories and in my heart. Ain't no way i throw away what he's left me. Of course, I forgot all about him until now. I was going to say. I'm talking complete bills. If you've finished being gloomy, we need to search every nook and cranny. There must be something we haven't seen. You what? You were totally against all this. I just hate leaving a job half done. Honestly, I couldn't care less about what he's searching for. And I don't mind if we never find it. But I just need to know either way. Our words well spoken, four eyes. I'm much the same. Right then, let's give it one more shot. Here comes the thing that killed oh, your friend. What's this? <laughs> You're still alive, you wretched car. Thought I'd take care of you back then. This time I'll make sure you don't get away. Prepare to be outed. All right, get your ass over here, you ugly ass Pixar looking motherfucker. Uh, get shot. Boop. I like that break. Uh. Come on. Just facing the wrong way. Oh, I missed. Really? I like that. Oh, let's go for a spin. Decent amount. I like this. Didn't dodge that one. I think he got blown down there. Oddly enough. Or is this to break, huh? You gotta love how after he does his special in this gun class, he throws his guns down and picks up two new ones. Literally just Reaper from Overwatch. Physical defense down! He resisted it. Damn it. Ah. Uh.
Boom. Lovely. We finished it. It's the pot. There ain't nothing finer. Putting that aside, would this be our fabled pot? This thing was holding on to it. Hmm. Ah! That'll be it! It's gotta be! Yeah? Is that really the pot? So, uh, what have we got inside there? Don't tell us you want to keep it secret after all we've been through. Ah. Well, Much like the pirate captain party member to be looking for treasure. Hmm. What is this? Don't look at me. Oh, uh -huh. the familiar smell. It miso paste. Miso. Uh, miso. That correct. Can add miso to meat, fishes, all sorts of vegetable. It's all-purpose flavoring. Uh. Then. Uh. What? That thing's been fermenting for a hundred years. Butts for? Food. Ah, that's right. Me and him, we... Huh. Flashback. Hold on! I'll have you out! No, Frey! Forget about me. Only... The pot. Only the pot matters now. Are you out of your mind? You worked your behind off to make this be so stuck. I'm sorry, my friend. This is it for me. I put my whole being into that. I want you to take that perfect me, so you need to make the best dish ever! Partner! Oh. Sadness. I remember now. He and I. We journeyed to gather ingredients that would match this stuff. But when we finally arrived here, that blasted monster went and ate him. And he, he entrusted this to me. Idiot! How could I, how could I ever have forgotten something that damn well important? I get it. When I saw the Napon lady cooking and thought something was missing from the food, that thing, it was miso. Missing the miso. To think that, all these years and decades, my heart's been captive to a simple bean paste. Does not sound stupid, eh? Nah. Uh, um. Uh... I'm sorry about this, kiddies. This miso won't ever go off, even if centuries pass. If you behave, I'll treat ye to a little taste. That make my nana incredibly happy! Looking forward to sampling legendary miso! Hey, Noah. What's up? Gonna ask you again. Can I give him a real slug? Just one. <laughs> oh no! Noah's gone to the dark side. Well, he's level 20 now. Oh, okay. His ranking just went, like, way up. Let me check Colony 15 now. Okay, now he's up to level... Th now he's up to level 3, almost to level 4. Uh, what is this... Wait, what does this give? I'm trying to... I'm just com I'm just confused. I just wanted to see... Okay, that's, that's cursor speed. I just wanted to see what the silent steps... All that stuff does. Shiny hunter, huh? Lost colony. V's colony. Colony Mew's almost done. The Nopon Caravans are done. Agnes Castle. Hello, Nia. Uh, where's Kevis Castle? Kevis Castle's down here. 
And we have not met Melia yet, so we don't know what she looks like. And the city, of course. We've got more stuff for that, too. Colony Iota's almost done. Colony 30's almost done. Colony 4 is done. Colony 9 is a smidgen away from being done. Sigma's dead. Omega's gone, but it's, I mean, the spot is still there. Colony Zero probably just requires Sigiri's quest. Colony Gamma probably just requires the Teach quest at the end there. Tau is done. Eleven is so close to being done. H is Colony. Guessing we'd beat that up. And then there's 15. Agnes Castle still has half a gauge left. Well, we're pretty close to completing all of the, uh, all of the colonies stuff on here. Doesn't look like there's anything new in terms of Collectopedia cards. And we have to get the materials necessary for Dork is online. Um, yeah. Well, looks like we've got... Only a little bit left in terms of quests. I don't know what quest this belongs to. I get some SP for this. That's nice. Suppose I should also mention that I have gone into, not quests, into the character section, interlink, soul trees, and everyone is 91% done. Back and forth across the screen there. Everyone's 91% done. It's probably easier to just see this way on the top right. You can just see everyone's got three soul link nodes left at various levels of SP necessary for it. And certain people have more SP than others, of course. Uni's got the most. But yeah, that's, uh, that's a nice thing. And one of Uni's skills is ridiculous if paired with Sinefer. It has something to do with, like, does extra damage for every buff that a party member has or something like that up to 500% per attack which is crazy if we just have like the character that I control run Sinefer then we should be hella good right I love our I love Tyon's scarf it just flows in the wind but hey I think that's gonna be it for this episode and yeah in the next episode we're probably going to take on Segiri's uh, Ascension Quest. And then, as soon as we finish that, um, probably just patch up the remaining few side quests, including Teach's Teachers. Um, and yeah, and that'll be it. And then we can start going back and moving forward in Origin. So, thank you guys very much for watching, and I will see you in the next part. Bye-bye.